Okay, here we're back, starting to paint. Uh, the swan mix is all nice and hard, kind of a dark color. So I'm gonna paint, I got three colors ready. The flat earth, which is XF52. This is pure uh, with the solvent, about 50-50. Then I have my dark color shading mix, which I'll go over it. And then what I call my three dot, which is half a uh, buff, half a uh, flatter. Half buff, half flatter. So it's half buff, which is XF57, and half buff, which is XF52. So here we're going with flatter. Mo most of the underside is gonna be the flatter color. Then I I bring details out with dry brushing. Since the uh, since the swan mix on top of texture has a color, which is not important because I'm painting it. But you know this process doesn't have to be so. So thorough. Uh, because uh, it's gonna be so much paint going over these areas that eventually you get everything. Then in some cases I would then highlight Then later you almost highlight with uh, with the pencil gray and its shade. But usually I would start with a general application like this with a flatter. Here, since there's a part that I it was never painted, it's no problem. I'll, I'll go over that with gray later. On. Not sure if you can see the texture, but that's what it makes. Yeah, it really, really makes a difference. Uh, and especially afterwards when, when you bring in the dry brush uh, that, that, that texture comes, comes alive before doing this with the vehicle upside down I, I would come back and and do it with the vehicle right side up to get the crevices from under here again it doesn't you don't have the parts were, since this was a, a built Panzer tool in Panzer Gray, uh, they're already gray. I'm trying to avoid the wheels, but the wheels will get their share eventually. Again, yeah, doesn't have to cover everything because at least in my way of viewing painting and weathering these vehicles, uniformity is your enemy. You want you want variety. So it, it's not that big of a difference. Uh, mainly just it's it's now looking flat. Whereas before it was 
seal is glossy. And do a quick turn here and get Good thing to paint everything, but you know, a lot of these areas are covered by the wheels. Some of the angles are covered by the track. So, you know, it's not, you don't have to just to get kind of a dusting. It's plenty. For the first, for the first, what I call uh, dusting. Okay. And the next step, and you don't have to wait for it to be dry. Uh, would be to go over elements with the uh, shading color which is basically dark very dark red brown about half and half red brown and black uh, i always say this might look too dramatic initially but with so much there I can go on the wheels, no problem. Basically just go for all the edges. Again, doesn't have to be uniform. But what I call the magic of this process is the half tones. Uh, as you're overspraying with this color, all the edges, you know, some of the color uh, bleeds over, and then you get more than more than one color because you get the basic color, and with the overspray you get half tones, so like, you know, like in a newspaper. If you look at grays in a newspaper, or at least in old newspapers, a gray was black on, uh, black with, with white dots. So here you get overspray everywhere. You can tell how non careful I'm doing this. I'm going to run out of time. I'll come back later. But you get the idea. Every every element here gets a shot. More later.